Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, it's Saturday afternoon. Saturday afternoon. Yes, it is Saturday. Saturday in London. Uh, another beautiful day here in London. Sun is shining. Uh, big weekend here in the UK. You've got uh, the Formula One tomorrow. Qualifying starting very shortly, so I'm going to have to go and watch it and interrupt this video. But uh, we've got the Formula One and also you've got the soccer going on, as everyone is aware. Um, so a bit of a different video today, I guess. Uh, don't expect me to be uh, telling you to service your own 911. Don't be expecting me to see uh, me doing a range of videos where I'm underneath the car uh, changing the oil on the 997. Uh, unfortunately, that won't happen. I love driving the 997. I love driving Porsche. Uh, but when it comes to servicing, I leave that to the professionals and then I have more time to, to drive. That's when I'm actually with the car, which lately I've been with the car very little uh, as I'm in London and my car is in Australia. If you're thinking about night buying a 911 or you're just confused with the whole service thing, I'm sure if you have one already, you already know what the deal is. But if you're thinking about buying a 911, uh, specifically a 997 because that's what I own, so this video will be based on 997 servicing. I don't know whether if you have a 991 or a 993, I'm guessing they would be slightly different uh, due to the either the car being newer generation or older generation. But in general, I think, you know, Porsche have the three services. They have the uh, annual service, which is like an oil change. They have the minor service and they have the major service. Uh, there's normally fixed costs for those services uh, around the world. I can't seem to find the costs online for the UK. Uh, I haven't tried for America, I kind of gave up. So I'm just going to base this on costs in uh, Australia. Uh, and I'm going to base it on costs from a Porsche, uh, Porsche dealership, Porsche dealer service. I'm not going to base it on the cost from a specialist, uh, a Porsche specialist for your service, uh, which is what I actually take my car to. I take my car to Auto House Hamilton in Australia and they're a Porsche specialist. So Porsche specialists are usually uh, somewhat cheaper than going direct to the dealer. Some people like going to the dealer. Uh, me personally, I prefer to go to a smaller, a smaller Porsche service center, people with more not necessarily more passion, I guess. I shouldn't say that about Porsche dealers because Porsche dealers have passion. Uh, but it's something about that smaller service center. It's that independent. It's, you know, the history behind the independent that you choose to go to. Uh, the community that, that goes to the independent. And uh, I guess the personalized service. I guess if they're smaller, you get more of a personalized service. And that's kind of nice. Sometimes when you go to dealers, you're just like a number. Um, I haven't had a lot to do with dealerships in Sydney and I'm sure they're uh, very good but the few times that I have had any uh, dealings with them, uh, they haven't been terribly friendly. Anyway, that's another story. Yeah, so being new to the uh, Porsche world, so to speak, uh, I take servicing quite seriously. I do it at the regular time uh, when it should be done. So when I picked up my car, um, I'll, I'll cover this at the end of the video, but I have had uh, two services done on my car so far. Uh, as well as other work but two services. But if you buy a 911 and you enter the 911 world as I did through an older version, you would most probably take it to a smaller independent. Uh, maybe that's because of the cost factor. Maybe that's because the independent is closer to where you live. Maybe that's because it was recommended from friends or from a Porsche, Porsche club. Uh, in saying that, I do know people who have 997s that have, that I have spoken to at cars and coffee events that have actually, uh, they still take their car to the dealer. They just prefer to take it to the Porsche uh, service center. It's purely a matter of choice. Uh, I found that a lot of people, if you're buying a 911, a lot of people would prefer to take it to an independent. Uh, I guess you start talking to people on forums and you start researching, you'll have, you'll find the information that, that you need for your, for your region. Now there's one, I guess there's one important thing which um, some of you guys will know, but Porsche servicing costs are fixed, so to speak, but they do vary between the models. So if you're getting a base Carrera uh, service, which is what I have, uh, I'll be putting the prices up here for Australia, which are base prices, but if you're getting your GT3 serviced or your GT2 RS serviced or your 911R serviced or your Turbo S serviced, uh, expect that the service charge, especially the minor and the major service, will be more expensive. Uh, the annual service, which I'll get to in a second, uh, probably will be around about the same price. They seem to be pretty standard on annual service. But annual service is just an oil, pretty much an oil and coolant change. So 
maybe that's the reason why that doesn't vary so much. But the other part of it, the other services, the cost does vary, so you best to check those prices before you uh, before you decide to purchase or before you decide on your um, service center. Okay, so let's get into the basics. The basics, uh, there are three services that you get from Porsche, uh, or three services that Porsche recommend. Uh, the first one being the annual service. Now the annual service, as I just touched on briefly, is a coolant and oil change. The second service is what they call the minor service. So the minor service is every two years or 30,000 kilometers. Uh, then you've got the major service, which is every 60,000 kilometers or every, is it every, yeah, every four years. And then the one in between is what they call the annual service. The annual service is the uh, oil change, coolant change service. Uh, so that's the one in between. So minor, annual, minor, and major service. Uh, all different costs, uh, which we'll get to at the end of this video. Um, so that's the three services that you'll be doing if you buy a 911 or if you own a 911. Uh, each of them containing different uh, checks, uh, different uh, things that are covered in those services. Uh, like I said, the first one is the annual service. Yeah, so the uh, annual service uh, is the oil change service. Uh, they do checks for the you know interior, exterior, underbody, uh, all the checks that are done in the other services. Um, obviously, sometimes there's extra things that need to be done, but primarily it's an oil change and a coolant change. Oil filter, oil, coolant change. Uh, that is done uh, in between each service, so that's a yearly type service. Um, and some people do this, some people don't always do it. Some people prefer to do, will do their oil change themselves, or some people even, I think, leave it and don't actually do the oil change every year. Uh, I'm particular about this and I do it every year. I will be doing it every year. The second service is the minor service. Now the minor service costs uh, a little bit more, uh, quite a lot more in Australia actually, almost double the amount of an uh, annual service. Um, so the minor service is, um, more inspections, the same sort of five areas of the interior, exterior, underbody, um, what were the other areas, electrics, and engine compartments. So all the, all the major checks are done, all the main areas are checked. Uh, the minor service is, also includes an oil change. Uh, the minor service will also include coolant change. Uh, in the minor service, the extra thing is, let me just double check. I mean, obviously more checks are done, you know, the checks, it could be, you know, you might need brake fluid in the, in the minor service, you might need clutch fluid, you might need transmission fluid for your PDK. I mean, it could be any of those things could add on to the cost of your service. Uh, the basic costs that we get to at the end of the video, I mean, they're basically uh, can change because if something is wrong with the car due to wear and tear or a problem, then it's going to up the cost of your service. The major service is uh, the most expensive. The major service, the major service in Australia is about three times the price of an annual service, double the cost, almost double the cost of a minor service. Now, the major service uh, does include a spark plug change. That's the main thing for the major service. All the checks are done again. All the inspections are done. Um, uh, oil change is done as per usual. Coolant change. Uh, Brakes will be checked, you might need brake pads, you might need rotors. I mean, you could need those in any of these three services, which will bump up the cost of your service. Uh, depending on wear and tear, depending on how far you drive the, the car through the twisties, I guess. Uh, how heavy you are on your brakes. Uh, uh, an interesting point about brakes, actually. When I bought my car, it had an inspection done at uh, a Porsche, I won't name the dealer, Porsche in Australia, a Porsche service center in Australia. They said that the brakes needed to be changed. They said the rotors needed to be changed. Uh, they were worn out and the pads um, They were very low. Then I took it to Auto House Hamilton and they checked it over and they said that it will be fine You know wait till the brake light warning pad light comes on and then bring it into us and then we'll change it straight away But depending on how you drive, you know, you could have 15,000 odd kilometer I think it was 15,000 15,000 kilometers left on on the pads and the rotors now this is where it pays to, to, to trust who you're taking it to. You know what I mean? If that was, if that was, if I hadn't had the Auto House Hamilton contact and I would have just done it through Porsche here in uh, Australia, then I would have probably changed the brake pads and the rotors at that time that they suggested that they were very low and needed changing. Uh, consequently, I don't drive, you know, I don't drive my car a lot. It's had about 7,000 kilometers in the time that I've owned it. Um, and I still don't have the warning brake pad light. The brakes seem to be fine to me. They were checked in the last service, they're still okay. So 
it, it pays to, it really does pay to shop around with service because you can end up paying for things now that you could actually pay for later. They're not actually necessary to do right now. Yeah, so we just touched on, we just touched on the additional work before, but any additional work, just bear in mind, these, these flat price servicing costs uh, that, that Porsche is, is providing, uh, and I know they provide them in the UK as well. I did find a couple of costs for the UK, and uh, which I wasn't going to share, but I will share, but they just seem a bit low to me, uh, whether or not Australia is very expensive. Which it is, I'm sure it is. Just be aware that additional work, like I said before, any additional work, new brake pads, new rotors, new clutch, all these things that will be checked. And I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty obvious, really. You take it in for a service, the basic things are covered, anything additional you're going to pay extra for. So you have to be aware of that, that the cost, as, older, as old as your car becomes, the older your car becomes, the more wear and tear, the harder you drive the car, obviously the more the service costs. You know, there's always going to be additional costs, so you just have to bear that in mind. It's a cost of ownership. Um, I was quoted a price when I first purchased my car uh, for, the, for the servicing per year. I was told just to keep 4,000 to 5,000 Australian dollars a year for running costs. Now, I'm thinking now that cost that was quoted to me wasn't just service. I think that was also maybe registration, insur registration insurance and service. I think that was a total figure the person was quoting to me because I haven't spent even close to that on servicing. And I know there's going to be some big costs. You know, there will be some big costs. There'll be brake rotor costs. There'll be brake pad costs. There'll probably be clutch costs in the year to come, in the years to come. So there's going to be costs in, the, in, in keeping the car, but that's the same with any car that you own. As I said previously, you know, the cost of servicing this car is really not that much more expensive than servicing an Audi. Okay, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna quote uh, Auto Houses Hamilton's costs on here because in fact, I don't actually have them with me. Uh, they're in my Porsche folder at home, Porsche folder at home with all my, oh yeah, by the way, if you're watching this video and it annoys you the way that I say Porsche, I know that Porsche is the right way to say it. I sometimes I say Porsche, sometimes I say Porsche. I know a lot of you guys don't care. There are some people out there, like this person, who is reminding me that it's a two-syllable word. Well, thank you so much for that. I know it's a two-syllable word, Porsche. Nice one. Anyway, back to the, back to the topic at hand. Um, yeah, so the costs, the standard costs are, so an annual service, if you get it done through, uh, if you get it done through Porsche uh, in Australia, Porsche service, it's about 700 Australian dollars for the annual service, which is basically the oil change. Once you get a minor service, it's about 1150, 1200 dollars. And then a major service is about $2,000, $2,100 Australian, $2,100 Australian. Anyway, that, that's the cost for Australia. Now, I just had a look on the UK Porsche site. I couldn't find prices on Porsche East London or Porsche Mayfair. Uh, I couldn't remember any names of any other Porsche dealers. So I just went to the Porsche UK site. They've got a rate there for fixed price servicing. Now, their price for a minor service was 405 pounds and a major service is 505 pounds. If you're from the UK, let me know if that's about right or if that is just if that is just literally doing the inspection and check and it doesn't include spark plugs for the major or, or anything like that. Uh, it seems very cheap, it seems very cheap. So, and US costs, what are the US costs? Are the US costs comparable to the Australian costs or are the US costs uh, cheaper? Um, like I said, I don't take it to Porsche service. These prices for Australia are Porsche service. Uh, I take it to an independent, Auto House Hamilton. Their prices are lower than that, so it's not $700 for a minor service. I can't remember the price. It could be under $600 Australian dollars. I really can't remember what it was when I had the uh, minor, ser the annual service done in January. So, anyone who's new to the channel, I own a 2006 997.1 uh, Carrera, base Carrera. Uh, it is very low kilometers. It's got 45, 46. 46 and a half thousand kilometers I think on it now, very low kilometers. When I purchased the car, it was 40,300 kilometers. Uh, it is in very good condition. Uh, when I picked up the car, it had already an inspection done by Porsche in Sydney. Uh, I got a pre-purchase inspection done before I purchased the car through Auto House Hamilton. That was a complete check of the car. When I bought the car, I took it into Auto House Hamilton. They did a major service because it hadn't had a major service. It was due for one. It had had a minor service when it was supposed to have the major service. So the major service was done and, you know, they kind of balanced it out for me, but it was a major service. So that was done in January 2017. In January of this year, January 2018 was the year annual service. So I had an annual service done. No faults came up, nothing else, no other wear and tear issues, no other problems with the car. So that was an annual service and that cost me, I think, you know, 
I forget, like I said, under, under $600, I think it was. Um, so that was that. In uh, 2019, January 2019, another service will be due, and that service will be the minor service. Uh, the minor service obviously is going to cost me a little bit more. It's probably going to cost me over $1,000 Australian, 11, probably $1,000 Australian, depending if there's anything else that needs to be replaced. Um, I'm pretty happy with the running costs of the 911. Uh, the thing I notice the most is the cost of petrol. You go through petrol a lot quicker. I think the cost of the tires was... The cost of the tires wasn't too bad, actually. The tires, when I replaced the tires, were... Actually, they're probably double what I used to pay for the Audi, so they were probably a lot more expensive than... than... I know there's going to be other costs, but you know... My Audi, when I had it, needed a new clutch, and the clutch cost came back at about three and a half thousand Australian dollars. Uh, I don't know what it cost, cost to change a Porsche, Porsche clutch, but I thought three and a half thousand dollars for a uh, Audi clutch was, was a lot of money. So anything, anything that's near that or even a bit more than that, I'll probably be happy with because that's my baseline. I hope this video has been helpful today. I guess it's not really a proper tech video, it's just me chatting with you guys again. I just wanted to put this video out there, I know there's a lot of people who are going through the same process that I went through uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, I had friends to, to talk to, I had uh, other, other means to get information, uh, but if you're a bit unsure about it, I know the servicing side of it, when you're buying a car, you kind of don't think about it, because you're so excited about getting your first 911 and being able to secure that car in the right color, in the right kilometers, in the right condition, you worry about IMS, you worry about all these things, you don't think so much about the servicing costs. Uh, once you buy the car, then it, then it all falls into place, and you think about the cost of registration, you think about the cost of insurance, you think about the cost of running, and you think about the service costs. Uh, so this is, this is, I guess, is a video to, to reinforce the fact that don't be scared, you know, don't be scared. Uh, a Porsche isn't that expensive to, to upkeep. Um, of course, the more you go up the model line, the more expensive it is. Once you get uh, extra radiators and turbo and whatever, of course the cost will increase, but also the cost of your car increase. So the percentage that you're paying on servicing, it's all relative. It's all relative. The main thing is, the main thing is, if you don't do your own servicing, you have more time to drive. Just remember that. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for your support. If you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel already, please hit the subscribe button. And like I said before, every like counts. Every like counts. Uh, YouTube has this thing where I'm not seeing if you guys don't like my video. So please like the video and uh, till next time. Bye for now.